Hey, pretty girls, it's Tay. Let's get right into the video. So chances are you click on this video because you want to learn or hear about my hygiene tips. So let's get right into it. So the first things first, feminine hygiene is one of those things that is a very touchy subject. Me personally, I do not indulge in adding anything extra to my routine other than what I already do. So I don't really take any vitamins, probiotics. I don't insert anything up my girl. I don't do any of those type of things. So take that as you will. I've never had an issue. Um, I've never had any, I don't know what to say without saying the word, but I've never had any of those type of infections or anything like that, that some people do have. I'm thankful and grateful. So the first things first, feminine hygiene starts from when you first wake up in the morning. The first thing you need to do every morning is drink you some water. If you haven't drank any water today, drink you some water. Me personally, I feel as if water helps with your skin and it also helps with your pH balance. It just helps with a lot of different things in your body. So if y'all know me, then y'all know I'm a list girly. So I kind of wrote out a list of what I do every day in the order that I do it. So in the morning, when I get up, immediately when I get up, I drink me some water. Usually I have water by my bedside. If I don't have any water by my bedside, then I just go in the kitchen, give me some water and I drink it. Then after that, I go over to the bathroom and I brush my teeth, okay? So this is my oral hygiene basket and we're gonna go through it literally together. So the first thing I do is literally brush my teeth um, with some toothpaste. Honestly, I'm not a fan of this toothpaste. This is some um, Colgate whitening toothpaste. Personally, I love a thicker toothpaste and this toothpaste is thin, but this is the toothpaste and this is my toothbrush. My toothbrush is just like a medium, a medium toothbrush. And then I also go in after I brush my teeth, I go in with some baking soda. So you might be like, girl, what do you need baking soda for? So I feel like baking soda helps with your breath and it also helps keep your teeth as white as possible. Um, I go in with baking soda. So I just literally wet my toothbrush again, dip it inside the baking soda and brush my teeth with the baking soda essentially and i spit it out and then after that i go in with some regular degular mouthwash again I, we see like a lot of trendy mouthwashes and stuff like that me personally i just grab whatever is affordable and this is the minty mouthwash i go in with mouthwash and after the mouthwash i go in with my floss picks and i just go in between each one of my teeth in and i just pick what i need to pick and this is what it looks like. I just do like that. I go in between each one and at the bottom. For me personally, I have a retainer in my mouth. So it's hard for me to kind of floss in between my bottom. But I just use the back part of the pick and I just pick through that. So if you have a retainer, if you have braces, then of course you need extra steps. But I have a permanent retainer. I just kind of clean under it. So after my oral hygiene is done... I then wash my face. So if I'm going to take a shower in the morning, I wash my face outside of the shower, regardless of if I'm taking a shower in the morning or night, I wash my face outside of the shower before I get in the shower. And I'm gonna tell you why. The reason why, I don't know if this is logical or if this is like proven or anything, but for me, I feel as if when I wash my face and then I put my you know, serums on, the steam penetrates my face and it kind of makes it work better. So I wash my face every morning with my face wash. I just use any face wash. Right now I am using, let me go get it. So right now I'm using the Coast RX. The Coast RX is like a K Korean skincare face wash and it works really well. Again, you can use like Neutrogena, Cetaphil, CeraVe. Any type of face wash. My face is oily, so I kind of gravitate to anything that tailors to oily skin. So I wet my face, I wash my face with the face wash, and I rinse it off. Now, you do not use a towel. We're, we're going to get to the towel next. But do not use a towel on your face. That 
is nasty. You need to be using disposable face towels. Now, again, this is not sponsored, but you can use a paper towel, disposable face towels, anything like that. You need to be using this on your face. So after you dab your face off and wipe your face down, you put this in the garbage, okay? This is a one-time use and you put it away. Don't worry, this is biodegradable. So after you wash your face, you rinse it off, you wash it real good, you rinse it off. Now I go in with some cotton pads right here. I go in with a cotton pad, uh-oh, and I use my witch hazel. So this is the witch hazel that I use, Dickinson's witch hazel. And I literally put a little bit on the face pad like that. And I wipe my face down and to get off any extra residue that I missed when I was washing. So I wipe, 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 wipe on my nose. My nose get oily quick. I'll definitely wipe my cheeks, forehead, eyes, everything. And usually I use one or two of these depending on if my face was super, super dirty. So now that my face is toned and everything, I go in with this right here. I've been using this cocoa butter forever. As you all can see, it's almost gone. But this is like not my first. This is like what I grew up on. My mom used this on us as, as kids. I've only used this probably for the past 15 years on my face. So I go in and I put it all over my face. And then, excuse me. I go in and I put it all over my face. And then now I'm good to get in the shower. So now we brush our teeth, we wash our face, we apply our cocoa butter on our face. Now we're gonna get in the shower. The steam in the shower, in my opinion, helps penetrate my skin. I just think I believe it and that's what I do. So now we're in the shower. So you might be like, Tay, what do you do when you get in the shower? The first thing I'm gonna do when you get in the shower is wet your entire body down and just kind of soak in the tub i mean soak in the shower for a little while whether it's the morning time or night time just soak and just get your body all hydrated okay now you're gonna grab your towel yes now this is you're gonna grab your towel this is your white washcloth that you're gonna use listen this is gonna be a hot take but those loofahs does not get you clean you need a towel to scrub that body okay you need a towel to scrub that body and what else you need you need bar soap so yes so yes you know we can use some shower gel next i do have to shower gel we're gonna use shower gel next but your first base layer has to be with your bar soap okay has to be with your bar soap so you're gonna get in the shower you're gonna use your bar soap get it all nice and wet you're gonna lather it on up and now you're gonna hit your body with this nice soapy towel wash your neck behind your neck your ears, yes, you're gonna get that soap mm -hmm, behind your ears. You shove a body on or a scarf on, you have something on by this point, okay? So, yes, you're going to get those ears with the soap. Get those ears, your neck, behind your neck. You're gonna wash under your arms. You're gonna use your fingers. Scrub under those arms. Do all that. Hit your downstairs, hit your legs. You're gonna wash your legs. You're gonna hit your toes one by one. You're gonna do like this. You're gonna wipe those elbows. And guess what? That's the up. You're gonna also do like this and wash under your knee. And you're gonna wash your knees. You might be like, Tay, this is self-explanatory, but it's not. It's not. I promise you, it's people in this world that do not wash their elbows and do not wash their knees. You need to wash your elbows and your knees. So you're gonna rinse all off. You're gonna feel good. Now you can go in with your Smell Good Body Wash. This is just some Olay. Whatever you want to use, you just go ahead and use it. Again, you rinse the towel out and then you just shh, and you wash all over. For me, I do use bar soap on my downstairs area and I use anything that's like a fresh scent on my downstairs area as well. I don't stick it up in there, but I just wash the surface, you know, just wash the surface of it, okay? We don't have to go too deep, but you need to just be washing like that, okay? Okay? So do that real well. Don't stick anything up there now. Don't do that. Just get the surface, the outside, okay? Now, um, what I will tell you, I'm not a Bath and Body Works girl. I do not use Bath and Body Works on my body at all. I don't use 
no type of bath and body works anything i don't suggest that but try to get anything like a fresh scent so now you're out of the shower okay so now you're out of the shower you're good let me make sure i talk about everything yep you or, oh if you got to shave then go ahead and shave um i use me and razors whenever i do have to shave i use me and razors arms legs and every other wear whatever you shave okay me and razors are best because they have more blades so after you do all that you just wash yourself off i do that about two times so i do the bar soap one full time on my body body soap I mean body wash two full times so a whole time once rinse off a whole time once and rinse off now we are out the shower but we're still in the bathroom get your big towel you're going to dry yourself off and while your skin is still damp you're going to go in with some body oil okay no matter what body oil you use go ahead as you all can tell i'm a palmer's cocoa butter type of girl i've been using this all my life as well you're going to go in with this body oil you're going to shh, shh, and then you're going to rub it in you're going to put some on your legs legs and you're going to rub it in Put some on your feet so your feet don't be hard and cracked and put some on your hands now mind you your face might be a little wet at this point because you've been in the shower just let it air dry don't worry about your face let your face air dry again make sure you dry off your neck so now you are out the bathroom and you're in your room you're gonna go in with your deodorant mm -hmm. you're gonna go in with your deodorant of your choice and you're gonna do one two three one two three now, if some girls do under, under, I don't have to because I don't have big tatas. But if you do have to go under, a little bit under there, don't be shamed. Don't be shamed. Look, hey, we here. Don't be shamed. Now, also, too, when I get out the shower, I like to brush my eyebrows. Just like you got to brush your hair, I brush my eyebrows when I get out the shower every single day. And I do it at nighttime, too, but it's not a nighttime routine. And then I just go in with some body spray. Now, perfume and body spray are two different things. The perfume, of course, lasts longer and stronger. The body spray is just like a little mist or whatever, like a little mist, a little scent. I go in all over my body. And I love this. This, this smells good. So now you are nice and moisturized and you're ready for the day that is my smell good all day routine now i will tell you i do shower most of the time twice a day if i shower in the morning i also shower at night and then wake up in the morning and shower again if i don't shower in the mornings i at least wash up i'd be like what is a wash up a wash up is when you hit your quick areas under your arms down there and back there and you get out okay but for the most part, I do hit my body two times a day with some soap. I also wash my face two times a day with some soap as well, with some face wash. So I will use this in the morning when I wake up and I'll also use it at night. When I wash my face at night, of course, I have like a whole different routine, a, layer, a layering routine. So if you want me to do a nighttime hygiene routine or like a nighttime skincare routine, let me know down below. But that is everything I do every single day. Now, when I'm on my cycle, of course, when I'm on my cycle, I wash a little harder down there just to make sure I don't have any type of odor at all. And I also use pads. Now, some girls don't use pads. Some girls do. Me personally, I feel like pads are better because you're letting the blood basically flow out of you naturally. With the plug-in, the tampons, you kind of, to me, you're clogging it up in there. I want it to come on up out of me, okay? So that's why I use pads. Um, I use just regular flow pad. I used to use super, but for some reason, as I got older, my cycle kind of got lighter. I don't know if that's good or bad, but regardless, I just use a regular pad. And then the days, like if I end on a, let's just say Tuesday, for like the next three days, I will wear panty liners just because y'all know the girls on TikTok call it barbecue sauce. Y'all know how the barbecue sauce be. So you don't want to mess up your underwear. So make sure you get you some panty liners and pads. You will definitely need that. But other than that, I hope this video was fun, helpful, entertaining. I know you might say some of this stuff is just like self-explanatory. But we, everybody don't have the luxury of 
knowing what to do with their bodies again like i said i don't i don't do anything extra with my downstairs area simply because i believe in just letting it be in terms of i do wash it every single day i do wash it but i know some girls that take this that do that that put that up there i don't do none of that i personally don't believe in doing any of that but hey that's to each his own but i've never had any medical issues any smells anything like that or any discomfort down there with what i do i do know i do not use bath and body works at all on my body period and i definitely would not use it down there i definitely would say use bar soap clean scents dial dove to wash down there and then every now and then like i said if i do olay it has to be like a fresh scent nothing too too scentsy down there but if you like videos like this make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you later bye